Welcome to our channel once again, my friends. Thanks for being here on Realize Guyana, home of all traditional Guyanese recipes. Today, we, our recipe is going to be a different kind of fudge. As you know, we have uh, the regular fudge on our channel already. And there are several different kinds of fudge. There is one called the coconut fudge, which we're going to be making today. And for this recipe, we're going to be using one cup of white sugar. White sugar is usually used for this recipe. You can use brown sugar as well, but the norm is for white sugar to be used. It goes very well with the coconut and, and everything else. So we're going to be using one cup of white sugar. We're going to be using now the coconut that we have here. We're going to be using quarter of the coconut. So we're going to break it in half, grate half of it, and use half of that. We're going to be using some one can of coconut milk, the regular cans that you get. We're going to be using one can of uh, condensed milk. And we're going to also be using some almond extract in this recipe. You can use almond essence as well. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to use one tablespoon of butter. Salt to taste, of course. So that's it for this recipe, guys. So let's get started with this coconut fudge recipe. So I know in some areas where you guys live, you are not able to get the coconut like this. So if you can't, then you can use the coconut flakes. And the amount of coconut flakes would be half a cup, which you would, you would substitute for a quarter of this coconut, which we're going to be using here today. All right, so if you can't get the coconut, coconut flakes, half a cup for this recipe. Alright, so we have grated our coconut and here we have quarter cup, so we're going to be using quarter cup of the grated coconut. As I said, if you don't use the grated coconut, you can use half a cup of the coconut flakes that you can get to buy in the packet. So we're going to add the coconut milk to our karahi. So there's our condensed milk, and now we're going to add our sugar. So we're going to add a pinch of salt to this now. That's it. So for now you're going to just keep turning this just slowly, you know, rapid turning. So once this comes to a boil, my friends, we're going to add the coconut and the essence so tell us some story in the comments below guys if you were you know if you're older now when you were a kid how much did you pay for one of these fudge was it a penny a cent five cents how much did you pay at your when you were a kid so right now we have this on a high heat until it starts to boil once it's boiled starts to boil we're gonna reduce it to medium heat Okay, so our mixture is boiling now, so we're going to add, as I said, the essence. So that's a half a tablespoon, another half, so that's one tablespoon. So we're going to add our coconut as well. So back in the days, all of these things you used to get on the kind of stand, roadside stand, you used to get this, gata, tarimbal, stretcher, jug jug. So you're just going to keep turning slowly. So this is 10 minutes since this will start boiling. As you can see, it's getting thick, but it's not there yet. So we still left it on high for it to thicken in faster. But once it gets started to get, uh, once it starts to get real thick, we're gonna lower our stove to medium. So we are using our this pan. 
So the smaller your pan, the thicker your fudge will be, depending on the amount you're making. So we think this one is going to be okay. So we're just going to add some butter. We're going to coat this with a bit of butter. So this is starting to thicken up, as you can see here now, our friends. So we have our pan already buttered up. We're ready to throw this out. So during the time you're cooking this, you don't have to turn continuously. You know, it's just at the end you want to make sure it doesn't burn because it's a lot thicker. But in the beginning you just turn slowly now and again. So this is coming to the end here now my friends. You can see it's gotten even thicker now. See your chunks of coconut in there. So you can see this is still a little bit watery guys. You want it to be more thicker than that. So we're gonna keep turning. Okay my friends, so this has reached uh, the required thickness. As you can see it's got a lot thicker. So we're gonna turn off the stove and put this aside and add our butter. So that's our butter in there now. So the butter is going to help it to be smoother, to get smoother once it's done. So we're just turning this until it gets the required thickness. As you can see, it's got a lot thicker. So you want it to a certain thickness before you pour it out into your pan. Alright guys, so this is ready now. And you see the thickness there? So that's how thick it should be. So we're gonna go pour this into our pan now. I hope this pan is not too big. Should be the right size to get a good thickness. So we're just gonna leave this to rest and harden guys and then we're gonna get back with the ending. So you just wanna smoothen out all those bubbles, those air pockets. All right, my friends, so our fudge has dried and we're gonna cut it now. As you can see, it dried nicely here. There you go. And this fudge is smelling nice, nice boy. So we got a couple of cracks as you can see there. So we forgot to score it when it was still warm. That makes it easier to cut now once it's full up. We didn't do that, so we got a few cracks, so make sure you score it before it completely dries. There you go. That's it. 5, 10, 15, 20. So we got 20 fudges from here. And that's a lot of fudge. So there you have it guys, our fudge is ready, came out beautifully, smells very good as well. So that's it guys, that's our coconut fudge. If you like this recipe, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click on the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also, and as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.